Did I do an outro? Did I do an intro? Okay, so today we are going to do a review slash haul of all of the makeup and skincare that I got while I was in California. Let me tell you, I got a lot. So this video is going to be a lot. I apologize in advance, but if you're into skincare and makeup, then you won't have a problem with it. You'll just look up the information. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be informative to you in some capacity, one way or the other. But we should probably just go ahead and dive into it because it's so much. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's go. I was gonna do a get ready with me review, but I got sick on the airplane back to Japan and midway through that video, I just started losing energy. <clears throat> and there was no way that I could do like some sort of crazy eye look, not that I ever can, but it, my energy is dwindling fast. So I still wanted to make this video. I still wanted to uh, give my review in regards to the things that I purchased while I was in California. Um, so yeah, if you don't know, I live in Japan and I've lived here for a year. So Ulta and Sephora is not very accessible to me. Neither is Target, Ross, CVS, Walgreens. So I did a huge haul. And luckily for me, I had a ton of Sephora points, so I spent next to nothing, at least, at just Sephora, I'm at Ulta. Anyways, I had a ton of Ulta rewards points, if I said that or not, whatever. Um, so I spent next to nothing on most of the stuff I got, which I know my husband I don't really appreciate. Huh. Let's just start with some of the basic stuff that I got, but that I feel like are so necessary to have in your vault, if you will. Um, I really like using my hands because I have acrylics on right now. Can you tell? Tea tree permanent, tea tree and peppermint makeup wipes from Ross. They were only like $3.99. I'm not a big makeup wipe user because again, they're only like a one-time use thing and I don't love that. Just like a one-time use plastic. It's not great for the environment. But I'm not gonna lie to you, I do keep some form of these on hand, whether I'm traveling or at home. These were really good. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, when I first opened them and tried them, I thought that they smelled like a cleaning solution, but that's probably because my like organic cleaning solution that are like wipes that I have at home have peppermint in them. Don't feel like they broke my skin out at all or anything. Um, my skin is pretty broken out on this side and on my nose. Um, because I got sick, so my skin got sick. But don't think it had anything to do with any of the products that I'm gonna talk about today. Nonetheless, I really like these. If you're looking for cheap makeup wipes, these had a 60 count in them. My friend who also has sensitive skin said that she really liked these because she tried them and she was like, oh, I might have to get some of those. So, there you go. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is from Whole Foods. I love the Whole Foods for skincare stuff and makeup as well. I didn't get a whole lot while I was there, unfortunately. The one that I went to didn't have the things that I was looking for, unfortunately, but I still found them in other places, which was fine. But I did want to touch on these little pebbles, if you will. I got two for like pain relief and headaches, which is like Arnica and Belladonna. But these I want to touch on in this video because it is skincare related. Um, if you have a Whole Foods near you, I suggest picking these up and trying them. They're, it's called Calcaria, but me and my husband tend to break out when it's like super humid and it gets really humid here in Japan. So I repurchase these. These are good for, um, inflammation in the skin due to acne. Um, do, do I think that it is the end all be all to solve your skincare problems? No. Do I think it's great? with a regular regime that's already working for you um, in regards to like, you have a healthy diet, you cut out dairy, then yes. Like, I think that they are helpful. I don't think that they are the only help though, if you will. So those, that's what I picked up from Whole Foods. That's the only thing I picked up from Whole Foods. Let's talk about something that I repurchased that 
I love so much. It is 100% pure foundation. This is my tried and true. If you have ever watched any of my other like makeup videos, I use other foundation here recently, but it's because I ran out of this. I've used this foundation for over five years. Yeah. This is their fruit pigmented healthy foundation. I love this foundation. I feel like it's me it's medium to full coverage. You can definitely build on it. It's what I'm wearing right now. I love this foundation and always have. And if I can ever get my hands on it, then I'll purchase it. Out here it's a little tricky, but if you're in the States, you can for sure get it. I started purchasing it online because there are no stores on the East Coast at all. They're only in California. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of these stores out there. I did get the opportunity to go pick, to pick this up at the Topanga Canyon Mall. And I love their makeup. It is expensive, but to me it's no different than the stuff that you get in Sephora or Ulta on the higher end spectrum. I love that foundation. I just love that foundation and always have. The next thing that I picked up from 100% Pure is this little blush, like pot, blush pot, potted blush, I don't know, in the color Pinky. And I picked this up because honestly it was 60% off. I had never tried this before, but I do have it across my nose right now and a little bit on my cheeks. Never have I ever tried their potted blushes before, but I do like it. If I get the opportunity to go back to one of their stores, I will prob probably repurchase that if I run out of it. The next thing that I picked up from 100% Pure, now what I wanted was the mattifying primer, but they were out of it. So I picked up the Luminous Primer because to me, they are slightly different, but it's not a big enough difference for me to go, oh, I'm not gonna buy the luminous one because I really need the matte one. It doesn't change the appearance of my skin, the luminosity or mattifyingness of my skin enough for me to say, oh, you're out of it, I'll just wait. So I picked this up, this is, these, I tried them both, are my favorite primers. I do not, do not, use another primer and have not used another primer in probably five years still. I will use another foundation if I have to, but I I will use a moisturizer with no primer before I'll use another primer over this primer. Does that make sense? I know some people don't think that primers do a whole lot, but these feel really great on the skin and I feel like they're great for the skin, so hence why I like to use them. Moving on. The next thing I got is something that I really like from 100% Pure, and it is the Green Tea Water Bomb Mask. I love these. They're about $8, which isn't too bad, um, considering I should probably use one of these, like, now or yesterday, because I am sick, and it would pro my skin would probably really love me for it, but I love these. They're like a gel mask. They're not like a paper mask, but I love... I, love, I just love them. And I love the ones that they have for the under eyes too, if uh, you can get your hands on them, which you can. It's super easy. If you live in America, it's super easy to get your hands on 100% pure products. Even if you're not, you can get stuff on Amazon as long as you know that the seller is credible, you know? So that's what I got from 100% pure. No regrets. No regrets. Let's do CVS. So I got a Burt's Bees hydrating sheet mask. I really like Burt's Bees masks and they are pretty inexpensive so that's why I picked this up. I meant to use this while I was in California before my video shoot and I just never got around to it. But I really like their masks. I also picked up my Beyond favorite moisturizer. And it is from a cure, and it's called the Seriously Soothing Day Cream. I don't know if you can see that because of the blinding light outside. But I've used this moisturizer for probably two years now, and it's great. I have really sensitive skin since been using the Acure brand along with 
the 100% pure and stuff like that, my skin has got noticeably better. Even my friend Allie kept complimenting how good my skin looked because she's known me for three or four years now. Four, maybe five. It's been a long time. She knows what my skin used to look like versus how it looks now. Have I gotten other treatments in, in tandem with this? Yeah, I've had laser treatments. Do I think that those lasers did the most for my skin? Mm, temporarily, yes. But the long haul, I do feel like the products that I'm using on a daily basis and the food that I'm choosing to ingest on a daily or weekly basis are what's helping my skin the most. So if you have super sensitive skin, I'm going to tell you to go with this. Just saying. The next thing that I picked up from CVS, which was also a repurchase, is Wonder Brow. Is it new? No. Is it great? Yes. I have it on right now, mixed in with a little bit of powder that I like. I don't think that I need to really review that. I mean, it's been around forever now, but I haven't used it in a few years. I will say, I hate the wand in this thing. I hate it. Some people love it. I don't. I always go in with an angle brush to fix it up because I just don't think that it looks that good unless I sculpt it out. But I digress. I'm getting hot because I'm sick. Whew. The next thing that I picked up from CVS was my favorite. I swear we'll get into some products that are new to me that will, but right now it's just repurchases. Hmm. Anyways, the next thing that I purchased from the CVS that I love so much is this Burt's Bees Lip Tint. And let me tell you, tinted lip balm, excuse me, this color, this color, I don't have it on right now. I probably should, but I wanted to put something else on because it's a new product to me. Anytime I wear this color, this color is Red Dahlia. Get it? Red Dahlia. Red Dahlia. Did you forget? Red Dahlia. Anytime I wear this color in public, nothing else on. I mean, I mean, I could, you know, I've got clothes on. I could have makeup on. I could have, I could not have makeup on. If I have this chapstick on, somebody, <coughs> somebody compliments me on my lipstick or lip color. And I always tell them what it is. And I know that this is super popular. This has some sort of cult following because 99% of the places that have this were sold out of it. I bought two. I think I bought one at CVS and then I found it again at Ulta. So I bought another one. Or actually I bought another one at Whole Foods because I was like, these things are hard to come by. People really like this color, including me. So I'm going to get two. So I did. And it's wonderful. It is just the most naturally, I hate pink lips on me. I think they look great on other people. I think they look like garbage on me. For some reason, they make me look really old. This is the most naturally reddish pink. I don't even know how to explain it. I wear it a lot. Maybe I'll try to insert a picture of me wearing it or something. It's so natural that most of the time people just think it's your natural lip color. Moving on. Let's move on to, let's do Sephora just because, oh no, I lie. Let's do Target, honorable mention at Target. So one thing that I got that was a repurchase is this Burt's Bees mattifying, mattifying powder. I love this stuff to keep in my purse as like a touch up powder. There's not a lot of product in this pan. So it does run out kind of quickly, unfortunately, but I do like it. And um, they didn't have it at Ulta and I found it at Target, so I repurchased it. Next thing that I purchased was from Honest Beauty. This is my new favorite mascara. I have it on right now on my tops. I always wear the Burt's Bees on the bottom, so I didn't even go there with Honest Beauty. I don't care. I have it on the top. I love mascaras with primers, and this has a little primer in it. Little boop. I don't know if you can see that. And then there's the wand on the other side. Now, typically, I don't like a wand like this. I don't mind it with this one, though. I bought another mascara at Sephora that's my beyond favorite, typically. But I think this is my new favorite. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I think this is my new favorite. 
So, but that's all that I got from, from Target. Let's move on to Sephora just because the Ulta one is like where I got the most stuff. Moving on to Sephora. What did I get at Sephora, you ask? I am more than certain that I got more than just these three things. We're gonna go over these three things that I got because I think that they're pretty great. From Sephora. Okay, so the first thing that I got was a repurchase. And it is the Kush Mascara. It's about $24. I love this mascara. I do have to say that this is probably still my new fave from Honest Beauty. But I had purchased this prior to going to Target. And I really like it. I'll still get a lot of use out of it. It's just voluminous. I have people ask me when I wear it, like, what mascara are you wearing? Because it does make them, like, thick without being, like, clumpy if you will. So I think that it's a pretty good mascara. And so I repurchased it because I was almost, almost out of it. The next thing that I got was this Tower 28 Super Dew No Shade. It's kind of like the Honest Beauty, I don't know what it's called, like gel highlighter. This is the only highlighter I picked up. Look at me go, progressive, like not buying too many highlighters. This is the only type of highlighter that I purchased because to me it's a little it's more lightweight than Vaseline for your face you probably can't even see that at all there it is it creates more of a dewy finish on the skin I don't know that I recommend this being put on the skin with makeup but this looks beautiful on when you're not wearing makeup or you just have some concealer here and there, but this is predominantly for highlighting in a very natural way. There's no shimmer to it. It's supposed to make your skin glisten from the inside out, if you will. I think it was about eight, $18. And the one from Honest Beauty is about $12, I think. So I don't think that if you have one, you need to go buy the other, hence why I only bought this one and not the other. I also couldn't find the other at Target, so. But that's what I picked up. I really, really like it for a no makeup makeup day, for sure. The next thing that I got from Sephora, the last thing, since I can't remember what else I got there. Maybe I didn't get anything else. I wanted this for so long. It is the Vita Melt Palette. And I only got the one because the other one was sold out. But also, I liked this one a lot more. I thought, when I first heard about this palette coming out, I'll show you. Oh, I'm so pretty, I'm so pretty. I wanted to pick up both of these, but they were out of the other one. And when I swatched it, I actually wasn't as impressed with, and this is not the quality, it's just a personal preference, with the colors in the other one. The other ones had, had a little bit more blues and stuff, blue tones, if you will. And I really have been looking for a rich red, like red red, a royal blue, and a neon green. This one happened to have the like brightest red and a neon green in it. And the other one had some blues in it, but they were predominantly, when I swatched them, more navy blue, and that's not what I was looking for. So I didn't feel like I was missing out by not being able to get that other palette. But I picked this one up. I have it a little bit in my brows and a little bit on my lids just to touch. I Again, I wanted to do like a really cool, I always want to do a really cool eye look. But the energy is just not here today, folks. It's just not here. So those are the three things that I picked up from Sephora that I can remember picking up. Last things, and they are predominantly repurchases that I love. Not everything is from Ulta. So these are all my Ulta purchases. Okay. So let's start with skincare really quick, just to go from one in A to Z, right? Boom. Okay, first, these were new to me. I'll get, actually all of this was new to me. Okay. 
-hmm. So I got five different skincare products, technically six. In short, I got one of the Mario Badescu skincare sprays. I got my husband a big one. Am I the biggest fan of this brand? Not necessarily, but I do like a good mister for the face. It's refreshing. And I didn't feel like thinking or looking for other ones. So I picked that up. The next thing that I purchased was this Acura Seriously Soothing Blue Tansy Serum Stick. I think this is great if you put it in the refrigerator. The tansy, the blue tansy, I do feel, even though this is like my go-to moisturizer and cleanser from a cure, this blue tansy breaks me out for some reason. So I don't know why I purchased this. I don't think that I paid enough attention to the fact that it said blue tansy on there. So I've just been rolling this on my neck and not had a problem with it. The next thing that I purchased, was, which is also from a cure, is this radically rejuvenating whipped night cream. And I really like this. I like it a lot. It feels thick and moisturizing, but not like so thick that my skin can't breathe. And again, I just love the Acure brand. I, I cannot say enough about this brand. Sulfate-free, paraben-free, mineral oil-free, petroleum-free, silicone-free, cruelty-free. So you see why I like this brand. I love, I love it. I like using it at night. It feels great. I've got nothing more to say about it. Next thing that I got... I got this first before I got anything actually, so I got to try it for the longest time. It's from Mad Hippie and it's their vitamins, vitamin A serum, excuse me. And I really, I like it, but the consistency of it when it dries on the skin does feel a little drying. That was the only thing that I didn't love about this, but I really like Mad Hippie. I've never had a problem with it breaking out my skin. Yeah, the only thing that I could say about this is it didn't feel moisturizing. It felt a little bit like it had a drying agent in it, but that's probably purposely done for one reason or another. I just like to add it with another moisturizer in tandem. The next thing that I picked up was this Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. And I really like this. It has a little bit of a scent to it. The scent is nice, but I don't like my skincare products to have a scent to them, typically. I haven't seen my skin break out using this, but it's just something to keep in mind in case you have sensitive skin and you absolutely can't have any fragrances whatsoever. This may not be for you, but so far it's been pretty good. Next thing that I picked up was from Truly Organics. I've never tried this brand before and it is called Glass Skin. Excuse me. Got a nice consistency to it. It does leave your skin looking a little bit glassy, which is nice. However, it doesn't last throughout the day. You don't get this nice dewy glow all day long. It does eventually wear off or because you put makeup on top of it or powder, it gets absorbed into the skin. But I really do like it. I like this brand. The stuff that I saw on the on their packaging, I was like, I can get down with that. I don't, I'm not mad at that. That was a skincare that I picked up from Ulta. The next couple of things I got were I got another, I repurchased my NYX Matte Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. I haven't used it in a few months just because I ran out of it. I haven't been able to find it here in Japan, even though we have NYX at the Express. Or not the Express, the Exchange. I haven't been able to find this, so I picked this up. I don't typically wear that much eyeliner anymore, but when I do, this is what I like to use. I also picked up, which was surprising, a... Uh, because I don't typically use them anymore, is a tinted eye primer uh, from Ulta Beauty. And I don't know, I tried it and I really liked it. It's also fragrant, oil-free, fragrance-free, and paraben-free. I felt like my eyeshadow hasn't really been sticking to my lids here recently. I went through a phase where I always used primers and I like would die if I didn't have an eyelid primer on previous to eyeshadow. And then I just got a little bit more lax with my routine and what I liked. And now I'm somewhere in between where I'm like, I can take it or leave it. Like some days I like to have it, some days I'm okay with not having it. But I felt that this was a really good dupe for the Urban Decay one. And this was like eight bucks. So why not? The next thing that I got that was also from Ulta Beauty is this cream eyeshadow liner in Taupe of the World. 
and it's, you know, I mean, it's taupe. It's what I have on my eyelids right now. It's pretty freaking basic, but I really like it. It doesn't budge. Sorry, I just had to look. Yeah, doesn't budge at all. And I think they might have been like 12 bucks. I can't remember. But I really, really like it. They had another shade that I really, really wanted, and they were out of it because Ulta is always out of almost everything all the time. It's really kind of frustrating, at least in L.A. Not a big eyeshadow crayon person. I like this. So I would repurchase that again. The next thing that I picked up was the Burt's Bees Hy uh, Hydrating Lip Oil. It's like an almond oil for your lips. I'm just going to put this in here just so, like... Not everything is like, oh my god, I love it so much. I like this, but it tastes funny. So, not a super fan. Throwing that out there. Just felt like we needed to like throw out a negative because we have so many positives. I don't know. Okay, next thing that I picked up was my e.l.f. eyebrow gel. I haven't used this in years. I've been using the Face Shop Designing Brow Scara, and it's been pretty good to me. Oh, I've had this thing forever, but it's starting to run out. And I got it on Amazon, and I just didn't feel like repurchasing it. And I've always really liked this, and it's only a dollar. It's already really gross on this side, so sorry about that. That's the only thing I don't like about this, is you see how gross it gets. If you have a colored brow product on, and you put this clear gel on, it just gets mucky, which is gross. But it's like $2. You really can't beat it. And it really does keep everything there, you know? So... Yeah, last thing that I got from Ulta Beauty at Ulta was this Radiant Rose Lip Oil infused with chamomile oil. No, oh, this isn't the last thing I got. I lied. And I really like this. I have it on right now. It doesn't have a weird taste. You know, it's a lip, it's a lip gloss. So yeah, it's it's sticky. It's not like incredibly tacky, which is nice. But, you know, you can't accidentally overuse it, and then it's going to be that. It is a lip gloss, so keep in mind, if it's windy outside, it may not be the thing you want to use. I don't know. Last thing that I got, I think this is the last thing, is this ColourPop Just a Tint lipstick crayon. And I have it on right now. I really like the way it smells. And I really like the color. It's like a nudie neutral color, nothing super special. I think it was only about eight bucks. I wanted to get a couple more things from ColourPop while I was there, but, and I had a couple more things in my cart, but I was just like, you do not need these things. I didn't need the, most of the things that I got anyways, but I was like, you do not need another highlighter. You have so many highlighters at home that need to be replenished, like you need to use before you replenish with new. So I wanted to get a bunch of their, like not a bunch, but a couple of their um, shock, whatever, color shock, what, whatever. I wanted to get some of their lip glosses or their lipsticks, but they didn't really have them. Again, Ulta's out of everything all the time. I wanted to re repurchase my Dose of Color Lazy Days and some other ones that I really like, but they were all out of those too, which sucked because I went to Ulta like I went to two different Ultas and I went to one twice so yeah I went to Ulta three different times and I couldn't find what I was looking for which is unfortunate but I got a lot of good stuff this video is probably far far too long and you probably watched two minutes of it so if you stuck around and watched the whole thing bless you but I just wanted to make the video again because I haven't made a video in a while. I also got a bunch of things that I really, really like. And if you've ever been curious about how I take care of my skin or what I put on my skin or what kind of makeup I use, just wanted to kind of put this out there because a lot of the things that are in this video are repurchases and that type of thing. And I forgot to do an outro. Big shocker there. You'd think it was my first rodeo, right? kind of is. Anyways, if you've made it through this video, I appreciate you. I know it was kind of lengthy, but don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'll be sure to list and link all of the products that were mentioned in this video in case you're interested in trying them out. 
Don't forget to hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. I always like to meet new friends on there, you know. It's always nice. And yeah, you can also check out my music for free on YouTube. I'll be sure to put those links down below. And if you feel like downloading it or being really nice and um, purchasing it through iTunes, Tidal, or Spotify, or what have you, I'll also appreciate that as well. Uh, thank you again, and I hope to see you next time. Forgive me, please. Accept me and all my flaws. You know, why not? Why not? Makeup videos are fun, right? Maybe not mine, but some people's are. Anyways, subscribe. So I just thought it would be cool to show you the things that I've, okay, fuck me, man. Everything, none of it is very accessible to me. So you can get to know me better if you want. I mean, who really cares at the end of the day? Uh, <coughs> just another droplet of water in the ocean. Wow, I'm getting a little deep.